Hey, I'm Jared from Shaping the Silence, and today I'm going to explain what the hex board is and how it works. We have this layout, bunch of hexagons here. Why? First reason is it looks cool. Second reason is it makes for really interesting layouts. We have actually several layouts to choose from. The first layout is the Wiki Hayden layout, which gives us seven octaves in this small space. Playing chords is fairly easy. You've got your major chords like that, and your minor chords are like that. All these layouts, essentially, once you find a finger pattern for playing a type of chord, you just move that around to play the same chord on different notes. That's the first layout. The second one is the harmonic table. So let's go ahead and select that. Boom, screen turns to the side, which means it's time for us to turn this on this layout. We have your keys laid out in a way where you have fifths positioned directly above each other. Up and to the right, you have your major thirds. And then up into your left, you have your minor third. So you can easily play your triads. Like that, or. And you can do other stuff like play sevenths. Like that. And you can carry those patterns all over. It's a lot of fun to play with. So coming up with chord progressions in the harmonic table layout is one of my favorite uses of that. Next layout I have here is Gerhard, which has a different arrangement here, same orientation as the other one, but you have the keys laid out like this. You've got your fifths laid out directly across from each other, and then you have your major thirds up and to the right and your minor thirds down into the right. So you can play chords by just having your fingers spread across here. So those are the basic layouts, but what we can do here is in these layouts, we can actually select how we highlight them. So first off, you see all the colors on here. These actually indicate what the note is. Starting with red, which is your root note, and currently the key is set to G, so all of these are G. We can change that to C, boom shifts all the colors to their correct spot. So now all of the C's are lit up red. And so as you move through the color wheel, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, etc. So you can move up through it, um, knowing which one is which. The next thing that I really like here is scales. So you can select from different scales. So let's say I wanted to pull up a blues scale. Boom, now we have highlighted the blues scale in the key of C. You can play that really easily. If I wanted to, I could change it to an E. Melodic minor, and then... In this mode, you can actually play these other keys, the keys that are not in that scale. But, say you want to make it a little easier on yourself, you want to get some practice in, want to make sure you stay locked into a key, you can turn on scale lock. Boom, the lights turn off for that, and now, you press the, the notes that are not in the key, they don't play, they don't light up, nothing happens. On the side here, we have this toolbar. This is used for selecting velocity. Below here, we have the pitch bend and mod wheel. So, so you can do that or... Now this feature I just added, uh, but this is lighting. When I press a button, it lights up the light underneath it extra bright, okay? But we can change it so that it lights up anything that's the same note. So there are a couple of duplicates in this layout. So you can see these are the same note. And if I change it to octave, we can now have it light up anything that's the same note across different octaves. And then we have splash, which I'm really excited about because it looks so cool. So you play a note, and it plays a pattern moving outward from each note that you play. Well, that's where it is so far. I have lots of other features I've got stuck in here that I don't have the time to get in here yet, but 
working on it and I'm really excited. Um, the firmware on this thing is open source, so if you want to check it out, learn things from it, maybe even contribute some of your own ideas to it, uh, that is an option as well. If you're interested, go ahead and check out my website. You can purchase it there. Um, there's lots of customization options, including the feel of the keys. On top of that, this is all 3D printed. So if you want to have different colors, say sparkly purple or goober green or glow in the dark, that is an option as well. So. I'm really excited that I can have this out here. I hope you check it out and I'll see you later. Bye.